Hey guys, Mozu with Negron Tech here. So I'm back and I got a keyboard video for you because this is the ultimate gaming keyboard. This is the best keyboard ever made and it, there really is no question about it. I got the Wooting. Now I do have the old original Wooting, but the case is definitely lacking. Right here I got these uh, XDA profiles, these uh, Apple Maker Dawn keycaps, I think they are. And you'll see that it's a very, uh, very plastically, not really high end and you know, for the best gaming keyboard, it should be a little bit more. It should be a little bit more. So I'm upgrading. Now, this is no uh, joke of a keyboard, right? Obviously, I'm not going to get into the specs and stuff like that because this is just the best gaming keyboard. You know, High Ground, Razer, Steel Series. All these companies are copying the whole uh, the analog input, the absolute input as soon as you, the adjustable input, as soon as you uh, put pressure down, and as soon as you release, adding that insanely fast action, especially when it comes to shooters. Uh, for my game, I normally just use it using uh, League of Legends, where it's kind of like incredible how fast you get those inputs in, and what champions like Aatrox is here getting that uh, those Qs or those Ws of soldiers up, very important, very very important. Anyway, I have not seen anybody post a video on just a start to finish build guide. I finally got these. I was part of the NA Clouds uh, stock, so I got the Conkey Gray, and then I got the actual module right here. So. We're just going to do this start to finish. It's going to be kind of a vlog style, you know, so uh, we'll see how it goes. I've never built a keyboard from the ground up. I have modded a couple keyboards and the only keyboard, only two keyboards have actually taken apart from start to finish. And that was a glorious GMMK2 and an RK61, like a $40 Royal Kludge, Kludge keyboard, however you pronounce it. So this is going to be the unboxing and full build guide. We are going to learn together, people. See how it goes. Ooh. I will say the uh the unboxing experience with wooding is pretty pretty nice. Oh yeah, look at that ASMR. This beacon mic is really getting those crunches, I'm sure guys, huh? Alright. So let's see. This is the actual base, the actual case. A lot of people are, are just foregoing this and just putting their uh wooding into like a tofu 60, 65, which is fine. You know, but I kinda like I don't know. I, I love wooting. I want to give it to them. Give them the business. And let's see what we got. Oh, yeah. Let me flip this over so I can properly open it. Ooh. So this is the concrete gray. And what's actually unique about this is that it's not anodized, the actual material. I don't know. Uh, it's IMO or something, but I forgot how they pronounce it. But it's just, it's not anodized. And it's supposed to be like that more like flat concrete gray look. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. This is kind of a controversial part of the keyboard case because you really don't see this, right? Like, if you have a keyboard case, the Tofu, the Zooms, the Neos, they're very, very accentuated on the backside with the weighted plates. But this is just all pure aluminum. You got the nice little wooding branding right over there. I know it's upside down, guys. Give me a break. But I don't know. To me, this is a nice touch. It's not the most obvious contrasting colors, but... It is pretty nice. And just one thing to note that this one does cost $10 more than the other colors. I actually originally ordered the blue, but I couldn't find a keycap set that I really like to go with the, the blue. So I just went with the gray. I only have one other white keyboard, and I don't really have a grayish one. A more matte gray kind of look, so I went with this. And I'm assuming this is going to be the pre-cut foam right here, which is nice. I don't know if I'm actually going to use this, but maybe I should just to give them the benefit of the doubt. But it is nice that it's actually pre-cut already. I do have uh, some Amazon cheap foam somewhere. So I do got some foam right here that I actually might just cut out and mold. This is a lot thicker, so there might be an issue with the PCB and the whole stacking of the plates and getting it in there. So I might just keep this. feels like a pretty good material. I know uh, for my RK61, I used this, and it was actually incredible. This is only like 5 to $6 on Amazon. Um... I must have gotten it from some keyboard YouTuber. I don't know which one, but there you go. Might do with just a tape mod too. And we got these little, uh, <laughs> what are these, washers for the little things. So I guess it's uh, easier to put. I don't know. What else we got in here? Put this aside real quick. Ooh. More washers, I guess. Let's see. You got that nice little wooding, uh strap that you do so you know when you guys are going out to your land parties you can strap up the wooding right there and carry it so you're so fashionable i don't i really don't know who the hell would actually do that guys but oh well all right what else we got here 
Ooh. So that's just the base it comes in. I guess we got the USB-C stuff like that over here. If I could open this. Very smooth unboxing experience. All right. What actually is this, huh? Is this the end of the strap? What do we got? Ah, okay, so we got some little thing. We got the other end of the strap. Tie that down. We got some more screws to secure, I guess, for the rest of the build. Are these the leg razors, I guess? Okay, yeah, so these are actually the risers. So if you want a, a nicer angle, a more angular approach, I don't know what. This is probably maybe a two-inch difference compared to the actual ones right here, which are flat. I normally don't really do angled profiles when it comes to uh, my typing experience. I don't really mind it too much, or gaming. So I'll probably just leave those in there. But obviously, it's nice to add, have. It is kind of a shame that it's probably not adjustable on the base of the keyboard. I'm sure some people might get a little annoyed that you actually have to go through even this process of doing it. But hey, it is what it is. All right, now we got the module. Let's open this. Let's see what we got. Ugh. All together with the switches, guys. This is no joke. Again, this is a combined three hundred dollars. So I <laughs> kind of ridiculous, but hey, Wooting, you know they kind of deserve it because they by far have the best analog approach when it comes to. Uh, I don't know whether it's the PCB, a combination of the PCB and the switches that make it so responsive compared to the other brands like the High Ground, the Steel Series, and uh, Apex. No, I'm sorry, a <laughs> Razer about apex legends but yeah let's see what we got all right do, do, do. Ooh. all right now this is more of the other just like the wood and you got that nice little greeting card oh it just comes right off pretty cool i guess if we need a favor we could just write to them and they'll uh they'll do our best imagine if they actually answer me i say something crazy all right, what do we got? What do we got? Now we probably get the USB in here. We'll just do this real quick first. Yep. Got that black and yellow, that patented U uh, wooting color scheme right here. Pretty nice. Be nice if it was actually a cold cable, but not biggie. Woo. Good sneeze. <coughs> Some more screws, I guess, for the PCB. Actually, if there is really only uh, four to five screws and one of those is extra or six... That's actually pretty nice that it's not that many. I think the GMK2 had like eight or nine. That was like pretty ridiculous to be honest with you. All right. More foam. Very, very nice. And it's pre-cut. We always appreciate that. Let's see how many layers we got here under. Ooh. Can this just open, please? Look at that. Why, why is it sealed like that? Come on. I'm a noob. I'm not a keyboard board. Oh, okay. All right. Everything's pre-cut right here. Ooh, yeah. Very, very nice. I might not cut my own phone because, you know, I'm just extremely lazy. Let me uh, get this out of the way, actually. Do, do, do. All right. Get all this over here. So more foam, more foam. Everything's pre-cut. Very, very nice. The one thing that... I'm very surprised about is that there is no guide. There is this little thing right here, but this doesn't tell you step by step how to do it. So it is interesting for Moody that they are going to sell and this Illuminae 60 and they don't give you a, like a step by step guide. Like at least something as simple as in the actual Woody base, the actual case. It's like, okay, get the case, use the washers if you want, right? And then uh, apply the foam to where it's pre-cut. You know, it is kind of self-explanatory. But you got to be, I don't know, I feel like they just should have done it anyway. Because, God forbid, somebody buys this expecting, like, oh, there, obviously there's going to be a user manual. Um, I am going to pause right here. Maybe there is something on the website, like a PDF or a cheat sheet or something. Let me see. FAQ. So I guess there's really no just step-by-step -step guide. And this is kind of something because I was YouTubing this. I just got it a couple of days ago. But I'm like, you know what? I feel way more comfortable seeing somebody step-by-step -step assemble the keyboard. So that's kind of why. And I literally couldn't find it. I saw a lot of paid sponsors. And they just go straight into it. They don't go step-by-step. -step, but 
you know, at least give me something. Like, it could even just be something like this, and it just be like, one, two, three, you know, like how the crappy Amazon dressers and drawers do it. But, you know, it's not too crazy, kind of, like, obvious right here. Like, it did come with the washer, so you could put the washers in there, but I'll just leave this to the side, go back to the PCB, the plate, the foam, and, you know, from right here, nice packaging. Use that same material that motherboards come in. Very, very, that anti-static plastic and bag very very cool let's see this is actually nice how this is so sometimes some cases i'm sorry some piece uh keyboard builds these will not already so this is actually combined so the pcb and this uh front cover with the stabs already uh, are these screw in let me see i can't can you see guys i think they're screwing stabs i believe so they might be but anyway long story short this is actually kind of a nice touch that they do do this for people like me who don't have a lot of experience, I have only three, four, four keyboards I actually mod in and work with under my belt. And this is actually a pretty nice, pretty nice touch, all this little artwork and stuff like that. The only negative about this that I could see is that I was actually planning, I have uh, little band-aids for actual, where the switches are. I really do, I have the band-aid covers. Like how some people get band-aid stabilizers. I have those. I have some spares of those too. But I actually wanted to put um, like little uh, switch covers. I don't know what they're called. But I got it. Uh, they're pretty cheap band-aid covers for, this, for the actual uh, each single one. And I have them. I'll show you in a second here. All right, I'm back. So I have these. And I really wanted to use them. But you really need to have this uh, play off. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's really not that I'm lazy. But I kind of wanted to have a pure unboxing experience and assembly without really doing mods i'll probably do this in the future but it is a good thing that it is assembled this way with the stabs already in and all that good stuff but it is a little bit of a negative that they don't actually uh what's it called it's not disassembled because then i'm gonna have to do it anyway if i wanted to do a mod like this right so there's that all right so i stand corrected actually on the unboxing i completely missed it but you can just scan this uh barcode right here and you can get the quick start guide but it doesn't really uh it's not really too in-depth of a guide it pretty just explains that if you do want to uh switch out this pre-installed you would just unscrew everything here one two three four oh that's a bunch actually but unscrew the back of the pcb and then you can switch out what they say the poron sandwich pad is going to be actually the thaki method and then this silicone would help uh get you a more clacky does it say that? Yeah, more clacky experience. I already have actually a ROG Azoff that I absolutely love. And that's my clacky one with the storm switches at a prelude. It's actually an excellent keyboard. It would be a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for Armory Crate. I don't even use Armory Crate with that keyboard. So that whole OLED screen is pretty much uh, the RGB controller. But anyway, back to this. Let's go. We are just going to leave everything here. We got this little... Uh, so this is actually pretty nice too. So... I like that they include this because this is already pre-cut, I'm assuming, for uh, the actual Illuminase base, right? So just like I was saying with the foam that I bought, I know some people, keyboard authorities will probably say, oh, this more thicker foam is going to help with the sound profile. I don't know the actual science behind it. Asking the wrong guy, but let's see if this, oh, this actually fits perfectly. So if I really wanted to, actually, I might just do this anyway. Yeah, we'll just do this anyway. But you could just, what you would actually have to do is make these holes right here. All right, guys, I'm back, and I actually uh, switched it to lighting a little bit. So I am going to go through with this. It actually pretty is nice because that is pre-cut right here. You don't have to do this. And then you got to cut this for the USB connection right there. Uh, then just one, two, three, four, five. Another uh, square cut or rectangle right over here. I just put pressure here and then use scissors to make a little bit cuts. You'll see I actually did a terrible job with this one right here, <laughs> but as long as it's open, right, it's not going to be too bad. So that's the base. That's pretty much it for the actual case and the base. From there on out, I don't even know. Can we just go right in there and then maybe another layer of foam and then the switches and just like that, right? See, the USB lines up perfectly. But I'm looking at the FAQ and there is no other, uh, they don't really say whether or not you should use the... I'm not talking about the silicone cutout, but the actual, the other foam one, because they do, they do give you two foam pads, right? They give you two. So, and they're both pre-cut the same. I, I don't know. These feel like the same material. 
hopefully somebody, if this video gets a little bit of views, somebody, hopefully somebody smarter than me can explain uh, the difference if there is or if they want you to double stack foam. I don't know why you would do that. Maybe they have this in case you mess up or something. Uh, I don't know, guys. I don't know. But again, this silicone is for the more clacky feel. The Poron insert that's already assembled here is going to be for the... Uh, let me get that old wooding out the way. This is going to be the more docky feel. You know, it's not going to dock out the box with Lecker switches, I feel like. Talking about the switches, let me just go over there too because it looks like we're just there. Like, the assembly was that easy. I just overcomplicated it. Put the base one in. Put the base pre-cutout foam in. <laughs> put the, the pre-assembled PCB in and you're done. You know, some mods like this, uh, the switch, the band-aid switch mod. I don't know if that's actually what it's called. Um, stab mods, stab replacements. That's all, like, just unnecessary, it seems like. The one thing I am going to do is, uh, tape it. I do love taping the tape mod. I feel like it just helps a tremendous amount. And one thing I do know, whenever it comes to the tape mod, I know one thing is that, uh, be careful with the PCB here. Is that you always have to be careful when assembling it because where is the actual uh, connector for this? I guess there is none, huh? It's just the USB because normally you have the actual like that little mini connector on the top side that you have to be careful of and make a cutout for. But I guess we don't have to do that here. I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, this is actually like the perfect keyboard for me. <laughs> All right, we're going to get into the tape real quick. Super, super simple. I like doing two layers. I feel like it's just... Might as well do two layers. Just got this nice scotch tape, and of course, what did I do? I messed it up immediately. Oh, lordy. Taking me a second there, guys. I'm sorry. All right. Actually, not too bad. I've done worse before. I've done worse before. All right. Oh, yeah. Very, very simple, guys. Get rid of this little slack over here. And then... Honestly, a lot of the times when it comes to keyboard mods, what I can do and what I have have done in the past is not even uh, cut the holes and just screw it in because the screw is going to go in. The only thing with that is that you got to be careful of getting a little bit of tape residue maybe stuck in those uh, mounting holes, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. And let's see with the tape. Always check, you know, if you do like 100 layers of tape, you see how it does give. So just know that when you do screw it, you are going to have to apply some pressure there. Gravity will not do the whole trick, guys. All right. And you see we got here. So we do have to just get those holes in there. One, two. Uh, center, I believe. Four, five. Or actually, no, no center. Should be one, two, three, four. And then I think that's the fifth one. Let's double check real quick. Let's see. One. Two. Oh, there is no uh, one right there. Because it's already sitting there. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. That's it. And you'll see here, just make sure those holes are very, very good. There's absolutely nothing obstructing them. Good, they're flush right there. All right, so the screws are a huge pain in the ass. Yep, it sucks. It is what it is. But now, since we're done with that, we can just go to the switches. The only difference between the base model is that these are actually 45 grams, I believe. Yeah, these are the 45. And then what I used to buy, the original 60, is actually, uh, I think, 75. God, the RGB is so good. Oh. Really doesn't sound too bad stock with the actual original uh, 60HE. I was about to say, did they give us uh, lube to, to uh, <laughs> lube these? But no, no, no. So I think we get 70 of these. Ooh, these are nice switches. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. Here you go. Better look. All right. So the way this is going to work is that we have north-facing LEDs. And what you'll see here is that the LEDs are actually going to be, that's the LED stuff right there. North facing. A lot of people uh, think or swear that north facing LEDs are a sin and a travesty when it comes to uh, <laughs> keyboards, but I really don't mind. I <laughs> The whole uh, GMK, the Cherry Profile uh, issues when it comes to uh, clicking or the housing of the actual keycap hitting the switch, not really, really too bad, but that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm not going to do every single switch because that will be torture to you guys. But this is actually interesting because the metal pins are actually, I think, inside the housing. Oh, no, let me say that again. The metal pins are inside the housing. Normally, if you buy, like, Echoes or I think almost any switch, the metal pins are actually exposed. 
And what happens is, is that me personally, I mess up all the time. Like whenever I build a keyboard, whether it's for me or somebody else, I've only done, I built like maybe two or three other people a keyboard. But yeah, I almost always mess it up the first try where there's always like one to two to three keys that I uh, mess up. But again, another easy way to look at it, if you're going to do this specific keyboard setup, the text on the bottom is going to be south and where the open housing so the leds can go through will be up top sorry about the crappy filming guys but yeah again the whole point of this video is to try to help people a little bit because i when i google it i literally could not find uh hey wooding illuminates start to finish build guide like i i don't know why i could have why is it so hard everybody's like every video was freaking sponsored it was crazy but I guess when it comes with a $300 stock keyboard that you have to build yourself and a keyboard that's not marketed towards enthusiasts, but towards gamers, gamers don't really care. They don't, they don't want to build their own keyboard. They want it stock and they might switch keycaps, but they might not want to do all this. But I think, uh, you know, I originally started building PCs. It's a, the whole point of building PCs is to game with good hardware, get awesome performance. And look at beautiful graphics and stuff like that. But I'm just speaking out of my ass. So I will stop talking and fast forward till I start the keycap portion. Ta-da! And that's that. I'm all done with the switches. I gotta say, I really do have to say, I gotta highlight this, guys. That point that I made when it comes to the exposed pins, the three to the five pins, depending on which kind of switch you get. It's so nice to have it this way because you really, like, they're not gonna just, like, I'm trying to bend these. Like, I'm ugh, fucking goddamn it. Excuse my language. But I really can't even bend it. I don't even know if I moved those. Like, I, I really didn't move those. So messing these up, this is actually, I take everything back, especially because there is the uh, PDF beginner, the barcode you can get on the Wooting uh, case. But very, very good build for beginners. I'll re-talk about it in the conclusion sections. But very, 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 very good. And I'm going to go grab my, uh, going to grab my keycaps. I actually got real GMKs. I finally did not buy clones. The only real keycaps I think I own are Red Samurais, and that is from Drop. So I actually went back to Drop, and I got... I don't want to say it yet. Just give me a second. Give me a second. Now, one thing for uh, 100 whatever plus dollar keycaps, what is this packaging? Tough and competent. This is what it is? I thought it was going to be nicer, but I got these. Ooh. Oh, I spoiled it. Oh. Godspeed. What better keycaps to get with a gaming keyboard that's all about speed and responsiveness and <laughs> the quick input <laughs> and Godspeeds, right? It's kind of a meme, but hey, man. Th these actually are a beautiful set of keycaps, so let me uh, get to this unboxing real quick. Yeah, I will never be a tech unboxing review channel because look at how tall, look how awful I am at this. My lighting on video has been messed up. I'll talk about that in the conclusions. But, you know, this is the first time I'm shooting a video at my desk like this, where it's half from my computer with the Elgato with the face cam. And then uh, the actual uh, product on my keyboard with the overhead uh, camera view. I really have a crappy, like, $10 uh, Amazon. Oh, 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 man, I was lucky. I've actually got a crappy uh, <laughs> keycap set from uh, some Chinese company. And I legit remember, uh, I did it. I, I was just about to open it upside down. If you know, you know, but, <laughs> and it spilled everywhere. And it took me like 20 minutes just getting the whole keycaps back together. It was such a pain in the ass. Whew. Okay. So at least, uh, this packaging a little bit, a little bit safer. Hopefully I don't mess it up. Hopefully this is the correct side up now, not upside down. I'm assuming it is. Ooh, yeah. Double shot PBT, that authentic gmk experience but still beautiful and i got this because again the concrete gray along with the nice light blue the whole godspeed <laughs> theme and i think the blue and this kind of it's not a white if you can see closely i know the lighting is not the best but it's really not a white but it's kind of like a it's a similar colorway to this where the I don't want to say a matte finish because this is not all the other illuminators are andonized. This is not. I'll see. Just give me one second, guys. What is this one actually called? Concrete Gray is a micro arc oxidation, a unique ceramic feeling 
and Matt surface. Okay, so I was correct to so say it, Matt. All right, so we'll say Matt. But again, that nice concrete gray, I think it kind of really, really does a good job matching this uh, kind of beige colorway when it comes to the Godspeed. So that's really, really nice. So I'll uh, skip all the keycaps, like putting keycaps on guys. If you've never done it before, super, super easy. And again, these are going to be the GMK Armstrongs, and they're called the Godspeed because I guess it has to deal with the the astronauts, right? Godspeed to the astronauts or something, right? But, oh, holy crap. Do you guys hear that? That, that sounds pretty damn good for a completely stock. And remember, I used the foam from uh, the case. I didn't use that Amazon foam. Holy shit. Oh, next to the mic. Oh my God, this is, and I didn't lose these switches. I'm too fucking lazy. Wow. I knew this was going to be my main keyboard because I'm going to use this for all my games, action, single player, even multiplayer action RPGs, stuff like that. The souls like, but holy crap, that feels and sounds so good. Holy shit. All right, let me skip all this. I'm getting too uh too crazy right now. I'll uh, fast forward talk about the keycaps on. All right, we're back, guys. Just finished the keycaps. Uh, I got a little present right here. I'll just put it over here. Abort, abort mission, abort the video. All right, so this is gonna be the stock sound test. I what I did earlier was the escape key. Look at the mic in here. See, if mic a little bit closer. Maybe that works better. Oh yeah. It sounds super creamy, right? Soft, creamy, mmm. Oh, that keyboard's excellent. Now, this is completely stock. The only thing I did, and I'm pretty sure, let me just look at this real quick. The actual build guide FAQ, they don't say anything about using that, uh, the module foam that I had that I showed you guys where I did the cutouts myself. I don't think it said anywhere in the video that you can use that as the foam, but at least from my experience, that's the kind of foam that I normally use with my keyboards. So that I'm like, okay, I'm going to use that. Try this again. Guys, that sounds so fucking good. Holy shit. The space board, the escape key. Ooh. Backspace. Those stabs are good and solid. There's really zero rattle. Oh, oh my fucking god, man. I, more people should be using this keyboard, man. I mean, this is like the booting on, stairboard, on, on steroids. Like, this is the, the Godspeed keycaps. And, and real GMK keycaps, yeah, you could feel a difference. Holy crap, these are excellent. Oh my god. And uh, that's pretty much the build guide. I'll do some cin cinematic shots open after this, but this is the finished product, guys. Ooh. See? Put enough pressure in there. Once those screws go in there, that USB-C lines up nicely. That bop, that bottom, grayed out, ceramic, matte look. That little gold accent right there. I think with the Godspeed, these uh, GMKs, it actually... Let me know what you guys think. Actually, I think it's looked pretty damn good. Pretty damn, pretty damn good aesthetic. Actually, let me just test it to see if I make sure I didn't mess anything up. God forbid. Old Wooting, you are going to the trash. I'm just kidding. You're, you're going to Facebook Marketplace. Hopefully somebody buys it. Oh, ooh, look at that. No issues. Very, very, very good. I already have the Wooting software. So, again, I'm not talking about the whole specs. If you bought this keyboard, you already know. There's, there's absolutely nothing to talk about. This is the best gaming keyboard that you can buy. That's it. And there's a new booting update. Okay. I don't know. The, the sound profile for this, for just the tape mod and switching out the foam, I think is uh, absolutely ridiculous. And boot, boot tiddly is probably the best uh, peripheral software I think I've ever had in my life. Logitech, Razer, uh, the actual hardware ones like Gigabyte, Armory Crate, those are all trash. Uh, I love Lee and Lee as a company, but L Connect is trash. Uh, what else? Glorious. I don't think is uh, too bad, honestly. Rapid profile. Uh, I have. See, that's my other wooting. 
I gotta take a Daddy Optimum profile because he had the best one. I just use his for gaming, and then I think I switched to ASD or uh, the QWER for League of Legends to be a little bit faster of an input. But uh, Control Z that right, all right. But you know, I'm actually kind of shocked because the GMK these are not shine through keycaps, guys. This is it, and that blue, holy crap! Like that looks beautiful. That is utterly beautiful. Like holy. All right, so my conclusions, right? I already love this keyboard. I, I, ha I have the original Wooting. Like, I don't like the XDA keycaps, but I just didn't like the black ones, the stock, so I got these. I didn't do anything else to the original. But it does feel cheap. Like, like it's just plastic. Like, eh. It, it feels like it's a good typing experience for gaming and casual work. A little bit more clacky, noisy, uh profile there but this is just on another level nice softer one more thing about the gram difference between the actual original and this one because i did get the lighter leckers the 45 gram uh, switches just be just be aware that like i don't know i can't really notice it but i'm sure for those that are in a heavy use case i don't work from home i uh work outside i have an active job work full time but when i am home gaming I never have an issue when it comes to getting tired, even if I have like heavy, heavy switches in the higher uh, linears or even the tactiles. I never have an issue with that, but ooh. I, I think that sound profile is utterly amazing for a stock keyboard with these stock unlubed switches. I did not lube these. All I did was add tape two layers of tape and uh, foam that they probably don't even want you to use for the cutout. I use that because from my experience, that other one is not sturdy or soft enough where it might, I mean, I don't, I don't know for sure because I didn't test it, but from hearing other people's wootings, I think mine sounds a lot, a lot better. And hopefully this beacon mic capture overall. The whole point of this video is that if you Google, Woody and Illuminate 60 build guide. You have a video to kind of reference and to see how to actually build it. Super simple. You get the case. You unbox the case. You use the either cut out uh, pre-cut foam or use the one that comes with the module. The actual PCB layout that's already assembled. So foam, PCB layout, and then screw it in. And that's it. There is no um, little like uh, connection cutout you have to do here. It's already there it's already set now i obviously didn't do a guide on switching out the silicone cutout with the pour on cutout but if you did do that that is at least on the faq quick start guide so you do have that to reference but oh man this is something else this is yeah this is like <laughs> my day-to-day -day keyboard now guys this is utterly amazing oh i i can't get enough of it um mostly with negron tech here all right guys uh hope you guys enjoyed it uh, hope you guys have a good one. Take care.